As we are in the steps of the 2023, my question is to you today. How to start a fresh and new year with God? How we can start a fresh year 2023? First of all, I would like to say you can start by being hopeful. Being hopeful. Always Satan engages with us with well-known battle spiritually. When he sees us making our New Year's resolutions and adopting a fresh outlook, he will approach and begin questioning your sincerity. First question will ask you, how many times have you tried to start fresh yet kept making the same mistake? How many times have you uh, started something like reading the Bible every day and then stopped. He will ask you these questions and more many of them. So the, he will give you the results before you start. So and he says, so there is no real advantage to making new goals for coming a new year. And we usually accept what Satan tries to tell us and lose hope. We give ear to him and then we lose hope. Then as the Lord taught us to fight, if he, remember, if he brings us verses, we remember bringing him another verses. And do, who do we remember today? The thief on the cross. What he said, even he was in the last moments of his life, he didn't lose hope. He said, who knows the verse? Remember me, Lord, when you may come in your kingdom. That's it. Just before his death, when you shift your attention, my beloved, from what you can change in your life and give it to God who can accomplish it, okay, you will feel more helpful and you will not lose hope easily because you know there is who always there for you. And the Bible says, with men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. Be encouraged. Because Christmas itself means that God took flesh because of what? Because he loves us. Because he will die for us. And as he said in the Bible today, if you choose a friend, you will lay your life to them. This is what Jesus did for us. If we do this, we know that he came, that we have life. And to, that may we have better. Okay? Then remember, he wants to work with you, okay? So take the pressure from yourself and start engaging God in it when you change and pray for it, okay? First of all, what is it? Stay in hope. Okay, what was the first point? Start in ho with being hope, hopeful, hope. Second one, start an organization, okay? Chaos. And putting off what needs to be done because of our moods and emotions are what prevents us from achieving many of our goals. I will give you uh, an example, but always remember to make a plan for yourself. Always we say, most of us, I will go to church whenever I feel like it, when I feel like it, or I'll pray when I ever feel like it too, etc. Always we involve feelings there and emotions. As a result, we continue to lose days till the years end without making any progress. No progress because always going after emotions. Create a plan, create schedule or method for yourself. Instead of motivation, rely on consistency. What is important, my beloved, to remember to stuck with that system you're choosing, even if it's five minutes daily reading Bible or praying. What is easy you could do, just start with that. Don't take anything you feel heavy, you can do it. Start with those things, even five minutes a day. What would happen if any mother just felt she doesn't want to cook for a week? What will happen to the little children? They will be poor, right, with that poor diet. The same with ourselves. Imagine God give us responsibilities and we are 
going after our feelings, overwhelmed, overthinking. What will happen to what God gives us from gifts? This is what God is asking us today, to be in a system and to keep organized and progress. First of all, hope. Second, organized. Third, start with insight. Think that by the end of 2023, what traits do I want to be having that I do not currently have? In the end of next year. Okay, remember, not this year, not after a few days. The next year. I want always, we say, I want by the end of the 2023 to be more knowledgeable, maybe in the Bible, more than nowadays. Maybe I want to be serving more. Maybe I want to be happy. Maybe this year I didn't feel happy. Okay? I want to forgive, etc. Then think of how you can reach that. Don't think what happened. Because remember what Jesus said to us? If you always look back and you want to work in my field, you don't deserve me even. Because always you feel guilty, you feel sad for the past. But what the Lord in his Christmas, he is asking us to think realistically. For example, I will become more knowledgeable in Bible by reading a page every day. Or I will be serving by participating in my church more and looking for ways to serve and reaching out to people. I will be happy when I stop overthinking. Therefore, I need to learn how to do that so I can start praying more about it. So consider yourself and how realistically you can reach that by the end of the next year. I'll give you some examples. Maybe you could follow for the next year. Start and ending your day with God by praying morning and night. Okay? Second thing, reading a chapter a day at least. Give thanks for three things daily. Three things daily. Memorize a verse every week. Okay? Not holding your phone in the morning when you woke up before you pray first. And don't say, I will pray. I, let's go pray fast and then I will read. I will look at my phone. Always take your time. Listen to social media. Uh, lesson. Make it less the social media time. Set a verse as a theme for this year. Okay? For the whole year that you will try your best to follow and will keep it always in your mind. Like examples. Put above your bed. Love does not seek its own. Maybe this is your theme this year. Maybe others like, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust you, Lord. Receive one another just as Christ also received us. Praying one psalm, maybe daily. Go to church every week. Start giving donations. Stop complaining and start focusing on what you have, not what you're missing. Taking an icon or a small cross wherever you go, that you remind that you are in the presence of God. Learning more hand, uh, hands-on activities like sewing or painting so that I can listen, loosen or listen my wasted time on my phone time or just uh, things I don't have benefit from. Remember what we said in the beginning? How can I begin my start, my year? Hopeful. Second, organized. Third, insight. And the fourth, which I finish with, I end with, start and start again. Start and start again. Usually we start and stop, always. We start and stop and stop and stop. Today, our theme is start and start again. We don't know the meaning of stop, okay? Being realistic reminds me Always, that there may be days when I do, I don't stick with my system or plan I did in my life. Okay? That's okay. If you're realistic, that's okay. Because sometimes maybe I forgot. Sometimes I slept without praying. Maybe sometimes I was busy. But remember, I should get up immediately. As the Bible says, the saints sin seven times in their life, but they stand back up. Okay? This is our verse. For example, my beloved, suppose you made a goal to read the Bible every day, but you made it 15 days and the 16th you didn't. Don't be sad that you stopped because you did 15 days fully. Remember that you did much more than you stopped. 
and then again start reading back. This is my message to you, my beloved. I wish we can really start a fresh new year, coming close to the Lord, the tools that He gave us to use more and to have hope, organized inside, insight, and start again and again. And may God bless you and be with you always.